Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Hemicraft Season 7 episode with me, a false symmetry. And today, it's been a long while. It feels like it's been a long while since uh, Christmas and now. And, uh, well, not much has gone on in my base. Saying that, that's a bit of a lie. Something has been going on down there. And that is something we're going to be working on a, a little bit later today. But I thought I would catch up with you guys, see what is going on around the server, and... A little birdie told me that uh, my shops have actually had some sales. So you know what? I'm running a little low on diamonds as always. Like, I just generally feel like I don't have <laughs> as many diamonds as uh, some of the uh, <coughs> hermits uh, have on here. So uh, let's take a quick trip down here, check our shops. And uh, I've got a feeling this one's not going to have any sales. But um, I think the terracotta one over there will do. No, actually, that's a lie. I have sold one. Wait, you know what? I've sold I've sold 10 diamonds worth. I'll take it. For a shop that I don't really think about too much or come to too much. You know what? That's that's okay. I've just thought as well, did someone buy a get a free wish token with it? No. Uh although maybe they did. Maybe I had four books in the middle. If so, though, we need to head to this. Do you guys remember this? I built this ages ago. No hermits have really come here i don't think i'm going literally the wrong way <laughs> i put a path here for a reason false follow it please walk somewhere what's going what's going on here oh here we go okay so yeah this is the uh the contraption and i think <gasps> that's a wish token or is that no wait how do i check if someone's actually used this i don't think they ha can i yeah, and you know what? I don't remember actually what was in there. So <laughs> I don't actually think there's a way of me actually checking if someone used this. I don't know. I guess you guys can let me know in the comments if you have seen someone use this. But um, anyway, I guess, you know what? We need to, uh, you know what? Fill, yeah, fill, fill, fill us back in. There we go. We were never here. 23 diamonds. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, I'm hoping we're going to maybe get at least another 23 over in our other shop. And that will be a pretty good start to 2021 that is for sure i fixed up all the lily pads over here so it's all looking lovely and fresh and i do need to restock some of these things that's for sure i don't know if i've sold any actual terracotta but i do believe and this is very surprising to me and i think it was cub fan i think if i go down here because yes there is a second floor floor to this place i think i've sold some of this stuff <gasps> Wait, whoa, 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 wait, wait, I didn't know I'd sold. Cup fan, I appreciate you, you are keeping my business running. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cut, I mean, I mean, um, that's two and a half stacks of, uh, <laughs> two and a half stacks. Just over two and a half stacks of di- Wow. Let's just say I wasn't quite expecting that. That is, um, impressive. Dang. Well, actually, before we leave this area, I actually need some resources to uh, work on that little project I mentioned at the start. And this is where I, for some reason, <laughs> I don't know why every time I walk in here, I look at these as if these are like the thing to buy from. They're not. Is this thing in the middle? I don't know why. Uh, but I'm hoping, oh, wait, no. Wait, is this? Okay, okay, there is still quartz. Okay. One diamond is that. You know what? You know what? Can we buy like all of that? How much how much will this fill up? I might just buy this much. Okay, so let's put one more back. Okay, you know what? That buys buys a, a good amount. Uh I don't know how much that actually makes. But um yeah, we're gonna need quite a bit of quartz for this build. So uh <laughs> I'll probably take all the quartz. I might even come back for that lot as well, but um for now, we'll just take, what was that, 21 diamonds worth? Wow, okay, talk about spend my diamonds straight away, guys. <laughs> anyway, we're going to need that for this build. So I've got my resources together, quartz, and a little bit of, you know, cyan, uh, cyan concrete and things like that. And if I fly down here, oh my goodness, I literally thought I'd, like, flown the wrong way and had lost this entrance. <laughs> my bad. I say entrance. This is actually going to be entered via either, you know, within there or uh, up here we'll, we'll we'll sort it up there later but basically i think you can tell what this room is for right now i know what you're thinking not super duper futuristic false a train on a track and i know i know i was gonna try and come up with a 
way to do this without a track but um, i thought it just didn't feel like an actual train because ultimately it, it it's good it, it's gonna be a train so uh i think i just wanted to go with just something that looks futuristic uh so we're going with quartz of course because well quartz is uh, pretty futuristic it sort of goes with what we're going on here because we've got you know i mean the boats actually saying that speaking of vehicles uh the boats are made of quartz so actually that could be really interesting having all the vehicles made of quartz is that quartz? no that is no nah, that that that's white concrete mm. i guess just having them be white could be kind of interesting make the the the, the transport that we make around here all white and we'll make make them match basically so uh yeah i want to start building this thing uh we're going to be needing uh basically all of these things we're going to be needing slabs and definitely stairs saying that i do have a crafting bench oh my goodness i was a little bit worried then i'm going to make a few more slabs and quite a few more stairs as well because this thing is going to be slanted it's going to look maybe a little bit like a bullet train that sort of vibe is what i'm going for so i guess let's go ahead and start building this thing now as i'm building this i've literally just thought i haven't actually explained the point of this thing so it does have a point uh i did want to add some sort of train station in the wall either way um but i do like things to have a sort of purpose sometimes if if it makes sense so with this of course it does now you can see the track is going into this wall here what is actually over this way like quite quite a quite a long way over that way but what is over there is my st jude monument it is this thing here i'm gonna put like a little clip on the screen so you can see what i'm talking about i'm sure some of you guys have seen it some of you guys haven't we've been working on it recently and i basically want a way so that if someone didn't know that that existed or were, were you know maybe they're touring around here maybe wandering around and you know I don't know hanging out in my base i guess um if you didn't know that existed you'd come down here you maybe go oh there's a train here let's hop on the train and it actually went somewhere that that's that's the idea i actually wanted to go somewhere so as you can see here i've been working on the just the bottom half because i feel like building a train bottom up is actually a really good idea and something i haven't done before when i build trains i usually just build them carriage by carriage but you know what uh we're going to build it from bottom up and uh hopefully that'll just be a little bit easier so i'm going to continue this work and uh, i will show you what we do next Well, now that is complete, I guess we'll give you a quick tour. It doesn't... I'll be honest, this thing doesn't look great from the front. <laughs> the front, in fact, might be its worst angle, which isn't helpful for the fact that that's what you see going up. But I think when you get to the side of it and you see, you know, what it actually looks like, I think... I think it works. I mean, we can always change the front. Uh, I actually completely forgot for some reason to add the actual windows in. <laughs> so uh, we're going to be doing that um next i guess that that and the interior we need to actually figure out how on earth i guess we need to yeah i guess we need to stick a track like an actual minecart track within the uh within this you, you'd think oh you'd you'd think that i would have thought that through um i you thought i would have thought that through as well right oh dude okay well um uh, apparently something is spawnable i thought i'd torched it all up for now i'll have to figure out the lighting later oh my goodness he's walking away how dare you but overall i'm really happy with how it looks uh other than the front so uh i think i'm gonna stick with this as is and build it out from here thinking though uh a little bit more about the actual like you know the, the, the fact that it actually goes into the wall here i should really dig this out continue it a couple more blocks at least and build like a fake tunnel shape because i don't know why i thought just it going into the wall was a good look <laughs> but it's not so uh let's uh let's open this up and make it look a little bit more legit at, at the very least right you know what this sort of reminds me of this a little bit this is actually uh the train sort of thing i guess the beat was made i don't know if you guys have seen this yet but i'm sure I, I, I say that i'm sure you guys have this is really really cool i'm actually just trying to remember how it looks the other side i think it's like floating or like something yeah it's up yeah it's sort of 
<laughs> sort of a... I, I don't think this is floating. <laughs> you know what I mean though, right? I mean, it's sort of floating. Sort of crash crashing too. So already, even though there's those torches still, that looks better, right? Just the fact that it's gone in there. So I think what I'm going to do is probably dig that maybe in just two, two or three times more. Luckily, I, I do have a beacon that reaches over here. <laughs> it's on the surface. So I can, I can manage this. So I think, yeah, I think we'll bring it into about here just so that from all the way down there, you can't see even, for, even like through the windows that, you know, it sort of ends weirdly. And then... And then we'll get onto the exciting part, which is actually, for real, connecting up to my other build. Which, oh, I hadn't thought this part through. Uh, this is something we have to fix later. Obviously, there's invisible blocks in places. Okay, whatever. Anyway, well, things are going to be a little bit um, messed up until we can actually work this all out. What I can do is just cover this all over with sand. So hopefully, hopefully, it'll look okay in the future. Okay, so I kind of gave up on digging the actual tunnel. <laughs> it is a few hundred blocks away, and obviously here is where I lose my uh, beacon effect. So I'm just going to leave that for another day because we don't really need to finish this completely off because, well, uh, it's just going to be me digging a tunnel, which you guys, uh, I'm sure, have seen many times if you've been in my streams. I've, I do have plenty of digging in my streams, uh, that's for sure. Anyway, uh, this is what the inside is looking like, which I think is... It's pretty nice that there's actually enough space where I could actually put in a uh, a better floor, which is nice because it means now the floor is at the height of the doors. The doors will have, a, you know, a uh, button above and a button to the side out here. And then this one door has the staircase up because I think if this makes sense to me, I will probably put the... Uh, uh, yeah, you know what? It'll go along here, the track, and then it'll turn the corner and then it'll go down here. Yeah, you know what? I think that's probably the best way of doing it. The only problem with that is that I don't know how much room we'll have to actually, like, design in here. I really want to put chairs. And I think if I make them only one wide, we might be able to do that. But um, I think I'm going to try and come up with something now for the interiors. Probably something with, like, uh, what have I got? I've got uh, spare doors. Maybe a door. I bought these because I thought these could make a cool table, right? Like, like this. Just a one block high table. Keep the sort of black, grey, white and cyan theme. And then maybe use trap doors or iron doors for the back of the the, the, the chairs. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll try some stuff out and bring you guys back in. I think maybe only doing it one side might be the best option. Also maybe sticking lights underneath the those. Yeah, I think this is as so much as like a train we're going to be able to do i wonder if i can do some sort of overhead storage or something i don't know but what i've done also is uh separated uh let's put just one of them there uh, i've separated the front of the train and this bit because it just looks weird if it's not separated so yeah you'd come in the door and then you can get in the minecart and then be on your way and it'll take you through the train through the train round the corner and down into uh the tunnel <laughs> which will take you uh to the monument, uh, which is uh, probably quite far away. I think, yeah, this is minus 400 on the Z. Where we need to be is minus 800 and something. <laughs> so <laughs> it's going to be a long tunnel. But this is probably going to be a quick way of getting there if you didn't have wings, for example. Um, so, yeah, I really, really like making little uh, ways to connect my bases and projects up if I can. And seeing as though these are fairly close, it's not it's a short fly over there it's nice to you know add a little bit of transport that i was going to do anyway and actually make it do something which i think is very very cool but yeah we're making quite a mess with torches so i think i'm going to go see if i've got any carpet if i have we'll tidy this up a little bit if we haven't i guess that's the job for another day this is gonna probably be fairly ugly but i think it's the only way we're going to be able to make this thing spawn proof so yeah, I'm going for it. Uh, we're going to make it all spawn-proof. I've even got um, some light grey, so I should be able to make this up here spawn-proof. I basically want to make as much of this area spawn-proof as possible. I don't really want mobs spawning here if I can help it. Because that creeper wasn't fun to deal with, so... Oh, rip. Uh, <laughs> I'll come back for you in a moment. But yeah, like, yeah. I don't think this is going to affect the design too, too much. I tried as much as possible to make it slabbed so I, I i think i've managed it 
for the most part it's just these side bits here which i don't think will make much difference but yeah, it'll be really nice just to have the lights up here because yeah like that effect is much better than that effect <laughs> this single light versus torches <laughs> so i'll always try and find a way to uh swarm proof things and make things look that much cleaner uh over just leaving torches everywhere so <laughs> this is definitely my way of doing things carpet all the way um hello sir <laughs> um i hear someone gargling <laughs> Where is this guy? I was about to show you guys uh, what's going on here <laughs> and move on to the next part. I guess I haven't shown you the full uh, effect here. And also, speaking about the full effect, I've actually decided to take this one further. Uh, not only are we going to actually let me let me let me give you a tour inside. I've added some some details to the wheels because they just felt a little bit plain otherwise. But inside, this is the gist. Um, and at the end, basically, it just goes into a black hole because. You, you know, you know, you know, that's just that's just how we roll. Anyway, I also finished off the lights with some chain and I think that generally that's really, really nice. And actually, I really like the dark sort of uh, the dark accents in the, the buttons and, and the black wheels and stuff. I think it just adds that adds that contrast that was definitely needed. And that's something I might use in the future thing for this, which is, I think, you know my airport from season three? My nether airport was it season three? I think so. What if I do something similar here with shops and things like cyberpunky shops? I think that could be really, really cool. Although thinking a bit, a little bit about the lore as well, I have contemplated that uh, because this area is Cyan mainly, and also it is connected to the main Cyan Tower. This, I think, is a train station for the rich that live in here, or used to live in here. And that made me think about this elevator here as well. Now, this, of course, is also cyan. It is also a quick water elevator. My other elevator over there is orange, and it is made of honey blocks, and therefore is slower. Uh, that, I think, because that connects to the city, is for the lower um people i guess <laughs> the people that live in the lower city uh which i guess generally might be poorer might be more sort of working class uh and maybe that actually should lead to the farms uh these are the farms you know in these towers and things right and so that is how they get to work they go up there you know the slow route and then end up up there uh and then with this i'm thinking of actually bringing this so that you can actually get to the surface as well from the main tower and so yeah, I think that that's what I've decided upon. And I think it's quite a nice little idea. It continues with the lore. It adds some extra story to it. And perhaps when I build more and more things, uh, the story will just show itself. I feel like that's what's going to happen. But yeah, obviously there's a lot more work to be done in here. But definitely we could have like a little kiosk or something. I don't know. It could be really, really interesting. So I guess any train station uh, or rich people things... Uh, <laughs> Can can be put in the comments below. I'm not I'm not sure what to call them. Rich rich people things. We'll go we'll we'll go with that, folks. That that's totally a it it, it makes complete sense. <laughs> anyway, also with this, um, I think it might be quite nice too, since we've got this um, I don't know tunnel. Uh, to actually put something on top. I was gonna put a sign like this. Um, and to be honest, the only one that makes sense is this one. This one says false, of course. I was thinking, and I tried this in creative, I could actually make one that says train, but I think that that might sort of get lost. <laughs> might, it just might not look as good as like the ones that sort of are just random shapes um, for perhaps, you know, a different language, let's say that they speak. Um, so I don't know how I feel about putting a sign here. I might put one here just for now. I've got the stuff for it. So I guess I'm going to build one. I might even make it say train. If, if not, I'll, I'll change it, but... We'll make something when we can always change it it's a very very quick little project and i think i'm going to start somewhere about here and probably end up over there and try and fit the word train on it <laughs> just in case we like it who knows and five minutes later it, it, uh, it says train um <laughs> i mean it's not clear enough that it i don't i don't i don't know does this look dumb is it better just doing random letters i guess let me know i don't know i don't i don't mind it but um I definitely like having something glowing here, actually. It definitely just 
it gives gives the it gives the impression that this bit's alive and and it's dead over there where it's dark. So <laughs> at night time, I definitely want the uh, these bits to glow. Anyway, now it's time to work on what's going on here because there is gonna be a top part of this, which, like I said, is gonna hopefully I think bring people up here, which is definitely something we need to think about because right now, other than flying around my base, there isn't too much <laughs> too much easy access to places like this. So. It would be a good idea, I think, in the long run. Well, I've started adding iron bars. This is something I've wanted to do since the start. Like, it was my actual plan with this. And I think, seeing as though these um, different classes, I guess, are separated, um, you know, with the farms and everything, and then this lot, I think, I think it makes sense that there is a separation. I also really think, then, I need to figure out a way... So perhaps separate maybe this outer square to that outer square. Maybe that outer square around the main building is for these guys. And then this is for these guys. So potentially on this corner, there could be some sort of maybe a guard post or something. I don't know. I didn't want to go too crazy on these corners. I wanted I wanted up here to be as sort of open as possible. I mean, I, th I think even if I stuck a, a building here and there, it would... Or, uh, yeah, yeah, here and here and there. Um, I think it would still be super open, right? There'd still be a lot of space. So I don't think it'll mess up anything. I think it'll still look fine. But yeah, I think having like a little building there would be cool. I don't know what to do with the building though. I feel like, um, you know, what? I'm actually not. I'm actually not sure about the iron. Um, ha hello. What? What? What's actually- wait, one moment. I think we might need a rescue mission. <laughs> one, one moment, guys. I, I need to rescue a villager that's just chilling? Where, where and why and who and I have so many questions. I want to say it's from Docs, which is very possible. But I have no idea why he's all the way. Where is he? Out here? <laughs> In the little tiny bit of warm ocean. I don't know. Either way, I think we're going to try and rescue him without rescuing the uh, the drowned, which I think might end up happening instead. Especially if I get stuck in this thing. I'm stuck in the boat. Oh, no. You know what? Where's the safest place of my base? You know what? I think here might be okay because this, this is spawn proof, this tower. So if I like plop him here, I mean, I'm probably going to forget about him if I plop him there, though. <laughs> I don't know. He's probably safer there than he is in the water. Although, apparently drowns can't kill villagers in water. Either way, I might just double double check that there's not just a bunch around here. Nope, just just that one wee little lad, just just chilling. He was uh, out for a nighttime swim. <laughs> anyway, enough of that nonsense. I was trying to work out if I like the look of the iron bars. I don't think you know what they don't really show up that much. I don't I don't like the grittiness of them. With how smooth everything else is. I don't know, but at the same time, I don't know if I like glass panes. I, I'll leave it like this for now, and then we'll decide. Could maybe just save the iron bars for around the guard posts as sort of like barbed wire. Potentially, I, I think we'll leave it for now. As I will, I leave. Whoa, that building. Partly because of those guys, but mostly because I'm not sure how to design it just yet. That'll do though for now. That'll do. You know what? I feel like that looks better. It might not look as good in, um, with that Optifine, of course, making the glass texture smooth, but yeah, the dark gray matching, matching this, yeah, really, really works. Yep, yeah, I think that might be the way to go. Although when you're up here, you can't really see it. Oh, no, you can. It's just against that you can't see it. <laughs> sort of, sort of blends it. Anyway. Very happy with what we've got done today's episode. I was hoping to get like an actual building done today, but nothing's coming to mind and I wanted it to look somewhat special and somewhat different than these buildings because it's meant to be belong to this. So part of me does think it should be round because of that, but it's not really going to work. And I do really like the balcony. Like, look at look at how this looks from over here. Like, I, I like this. This is cool. Um, it coming out of the, the ground like that. So... I don't know. Anyway, I'm really happy with that so far. So uh, I guess get to the comments below if you want to leave a suggestion. Guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. Leave a like if you didn't enjoy subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys all in the next episode. 
See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.